you will be able to land your planes in the new tank game. New VMPT Terminator and the Invictus Helicopter. New maps and the features of the game. Stay until the end because I will explain to you all you need to know about the armor and the modules in Modern Warfront. Okay guys, so let's start with the battles, because it will be 6 versus 6 battles at the initial stage of the game. But the dev said that it may be higher, so they will test and if it is good, they will increase the number of players per battle. Apparently you can take up to 15 units of equipment into battle until you use all of them. All the aircrafts are free to control with full physics. There are restrictions about the number of aircrafts on the battles. So apparently the physics of aircrafts and helicopters will be totally different compared to modern warships. Okay, so that's one of the reasons why they decided to make this as a separate game and not to mix this with modern warships. So this is one of the reasons why the tank mode was delayed so much because they were working in this realistic physics and also working in the modules and the armors of the tanks because we will talk about that in a few moments they already confirmed that we will have all the equipment like the bmp1 and the csu 572 okay so it won't be only about modern vehicles and it is something good they are gonna mix all the equipment with the modern versions of tanks we will have this helicopter. This is the KA-50, straight from the movie Black Shark. So apparently this is the first fictional project of this game, okay, so that's what it seems. We already have that SU-57M strike fighter that they already confirmed in the game. We have even more pictures in which we can see the maps of this game. Bro, like, it looks like entire cities with uh, buildings, supports, and uh, listen to these guys, because the strike fighters will have the ability to take off and also to land. Okay, so remember that a lot of players already requested this for modern warships But apparently it will happen in modern warfront We will be able to land our planes There will be amphibious vehicles with floating capabilities I think they should add hovercrafts as well Remember that we will have multiple types of vehicles Okay, so not only tanks, but wheeled vehicles And also multiple launch rockets systems and the anti-aircraft vehicles that will be useful to destroy the strike fighters, helicopters and the bombers because they already said that we will have bombers in this game. It is such a shame because I was thinking that I was gonna be able to use all my strike fighters and the bombers in this game. I feel so bad because I was spending a lot of money because I thought that at some day I was gonna be able to use my equipment in the tank mode and also in modern warships as well. But apparently it won't be possible. So remember that in my last video I said that they were planning to add the T95 as the level 61 reward. Okay, so that actually means that it will be kind of hard to level up and it will be such an exclusive reward. Let me show you the module and the armor mode because we will have this feature not only in the tanks but also in the helicopters and the strike fighters of this game. So let me explain to you this because a lot of players don't understand this because these are new features that only the World Thunder players will understand. So the armor is the outside mechanism that used the tank to protect the modules okay so the modules are the fuel tank the ammunition the engine and the, even the crew of the vehicle so we will have a realistic armor and the modules in some part this armor will be impossible to penetrate and there will be some weak points that will be useful to destroy the tanks or planes with one shot so the realistic features that we will have is for example if you shoot at the fuel tank of a helicopter it will start a fire and if you shoot at the ammunition it could explode. 
Also, if you shoot at the engine, then the helicopter won't be able to fly. The same will happen with the tanks, okay? So remember that we have the ammunition, the engine, and the crew members. Normally, the side armor is easier to penetrate. So I'm really excited for this kind of features because this will be more realistic compared to modern warships because at the end, modern warships is an arcade game. So maybe that could explain the reason why they decided to make this as a separate game because then if they do it in the same game they would have to create a similar module mode for the warships and we have a bunch of warships in that game it won't be so easy guys look at this this is the Invictus helicopter but with a different appearance and this is modern warfront and you want to know the craziest part about this is that you will be able to change all those missiles and also you will be able to change the bullets of the cannon yes there will be different type of bullets for you to select with different trace colors also remember that we will have models with this helicopter which makes it even better also we have an image of the t 7 tank and uh, this is I think it is the KA-52M helicopter if I'm not wrong and about uh, this T-72 we already know that it will be a tier 3 tank but it seems that it is equipped with modern weapons and a bunch of things that will make it one of the best tanks of the game Okay guys, so I bring you an interesting gameplay because I have all the new equipment of this season I mean, I'm talking about the new KBX bomber, okay, so look at this We have the new Zap Zan drone, the JHXX strike fighter and the new helicopter Okay, so let me start with the new drone okay so oh bro this is so bad i don't have consumables okay so this will be an interesting uh, battle okay so i'm gonna stay like this i'm not gonna buy consumables because i believe that we're gonna be able to win this battle with uh, this okay so i already tried all the equipment of this uh, drone and uh, to be honest i don't uh, see anything special with uh, this uh, sub -san russian drone so let me use uh, this laser guided missile I'm gonna try to avoid all those missiles, it will be kind of impossible since I don't have uh, flares. So I'm gonna try to avoid uh, being uh, too close to the enemies. Remember that we can destroy, for example, let's go for that uh, bomber. Yes, I'm gonna try to do it uh, with uh, my cannon. Look at uh, this. No, but it is too far, it is out of range. Let me try to go this way. I'm gonna try to do it. No, bro, like, now he's too far. No, 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 let's go for those guys. Yeah, let's go for this one. Let me steal that elimination. Let me do it. Let me do it. No way, bro. There's too much lag. Yo, bro. What's wrong with uh, this game, bro? Like, the mobile version... Not the mobile version, bro. My phone is trash. Bro, like, sometimes I hate the mechanics of this game. So let's go for that uh, blue shark. Okay, so I'm gonna destroy that enemy. Look at these. All the missiles. Perfect. But we're surviving without the flares. And we're gonna destroy that enemy. Let me do it. Don't tell me that was an assist. Okay, so we did it. Perfect. So let me use my bomber. Yes, yes. Okay, so I love the fact that we have sonar range with uh, this uh, bomber. Which means that we're gonna be able to destroy... Look. We're gonna be able to destroy and detect enemy submarines. Even though if they are hiding underwater. So yeah, they're going to destroy my bomber since I don't have... Uh, Flares. Let me try to go back to my aircraft carrier. It's right here. <laughs> I crashed. So yeah, we have some enemies right uh, there. And yeah, we destroyed uh, that enemy warship. So we should attack. No way. That RF must go. That's such a powerful air defense. And uh, I don't have flares, but like I'm kind of dead, to be honest. Okay, so let me reduce the airspeed because we're going too fast. Okay, so I'm gonna repair uh, this drone and let me deploy the bomber again. I have to do it. Okay, my friend, I'm gonna try to destroy you now. I'm gonna use all the equipment. And uh, that's perfect, bro. Like, it seems like they're going to destroy my aircraft carrier. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Zircon missile and uh, my torpedoes because we can do something. Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. With the torpedoes, maybe we're gonna do it. I'm gonna use uh, some flares. And uh, that wasn't uh, necessary, to be honest. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do it uh, with uh, the Zircon missile, maybe. Okay, so we did it with uh, the drone. 
Yes! Okay, so that was pretty impressive. So let's go for this guy. This is the RF and Char project. My friend, we're going to destroy you right now. Look at that, 1 million damage already. Let me use the laser guided... Whoa, that was so cool. With the laser guided missiles. Okay, so I can't deploy my bomber. That's bad. Okay, so let me use uh, this strike fighter because I'm not uh, using it. So yeah, there's the enemy. We have two enemies. We are two versus two. So let's go. Let me increase the airspeed and get closer to that warship. We did it. Perfect. Another elimination. And uh, yeah, it seems like the last enemy could be an aircraft carrier. And uh, yeah, it is an aircraft carrier. It is right uh, there. I'm gonna try to do something crazy. Yeah. Look at this. Okay, so I need to reduce the airspeed now. Look at that. Perfect. Let's go back to the aircraft carrier. Let me use the drone. Okay. More missiles. That's better now. I use the cannon. Look at that damage. Okay. Let's go back. I'm gonna repair this aircraft carrier. And bro, I love the fact that we have torpedoes and the missiles. It is so useful. You have no idea, but it is. It can save your battle. So, bro, they already destroyed all my helicopters. Okay, so with uh, this slot, we can use two helicopters in this aircraft carrier. So I'm gonna use the torpedoes, the missiles, and I'm gonna try to destroy that guy. Yeah, yeah, only with the equipment of this aircraft carrier, the missiles. The torpedoes, maybe. Are we gonna do it? Yes, we're gonna do it with the torpedoes. Look at that. Bye bye, my friend. Another elimination and 2 million damage. 5 targets destroyed. Excellent.